Okay, so uh, we need to solve the equation cos z equals 3. Now, anyone who's uh, done traditional maths uh, would know that, uh, in actual fact, if we look at the real uh, value of uh, uh, cos of theta or whatever, uh, it moves approximately like this, where the highest value that it attains is 1, and the lowest value that it attains is minus one. So you might think, well, how on earth can we solve cos z equals three? Uh, well, we're going in the realms of uh, complex numbers. So what we need to do is, uh, let's just have a look. We need to use uh, Euler's relation, e to the i theta equals cos theta add i sine theta. And then look at the conjugate of e to the i theta, which is e to the minus i theta, which is cos of minus theta add i of sine of minus theta which equals cos of theta minus i sine of theta because cos of minus theta is the same as cos of theta and uh, sine of minus theta is minus sine of theta and then when we add these two together we get e to the i theta add e to the minus i theta equals to cos theta i.e we get in complex world cos theta equals e to the i theta add e to the i uh, minus i theta over 2. And this is what we're going to use in order to solve the equation cos of z equals 3. So well, let's just replace theta with z and put that equals to 3. So we have cos of z, which equals uh, e to the i z plus e to the minus i z over 2 equals 3. That's the value that we want to find. OK, so let's just have a look at this equation here uh, and make it slightly simpler. We have uh, e to the i z add e to the minus i z minus 6 equals 0. That's just taking 2 across and then uh, moving the 6. Um, just for ease, let's let uh, u equal e to the i z. And then we have here, replacing and substituting, we have u add 1 over u minus 6 equals 0. Multiplying uh, everything by u, we have u squared minus 6u add 1 equals 0, which is a quadratic that we can now solve. Okay, so uh, u therefore equals, using the quadratic formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2, which equals uh, 6 plus or minus root 32 over 2, which we can simplify to 3 plus or minus, taking 16 out, of here, 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. OK, so we have that u equals 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. And remembering that uh, u is e to the i z, and bringing that down, we have e to the i z, sorry, excuse me, e to the i z. We, remember, z is what we want to find. So e to the i z equals 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. And to solve this equation here, we just need to take logs, and we, we did uh, taking logs of the complex numbers in our previous Gresty Academy video. So taking logs, we have iz equals log of 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. And so therefore z equals log of 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 over i. And if we don't want the i on the bottom, let's just multiply top and bottom by i and we get z equals minus log of 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. And that is the solution to the equation cos of z equals 3. OK, now in actual fact, um, just like if we look at the real world uh, here, let's say, for example, we wanted to find out when... Uh, uh, cos of theta was 1. Well, cos of theta is 1 when it, when uh, it's uh, zero, when theta is 0, but also when theta is 2 pi, and also when theta is 4 pi. There are an infinite number of solutions to the equation cos theta equals 1. And just uh, in the same way, there are also an infinite number of solutions to cos of z equals 3. So how do we account for the fact that there's an infinite number of solutions? Well, in actual fact, strictly speaking, uh, what we should have done in the first place, and certainly if you were doing an advanced level uh, exam, you should have written e to the i theta add 2k pi, where k is an integer, equals 
because of uh, theta add 2k pi add i sine of theta add 2k pi and all that is is just incorporating all of the um, all of the solutions then the steps are exactly the same as we've just taken there and you will end up with uh, e to the i um, z plus 2k pi instead of just e to the i z equals 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 and then taking logs we have i z plus 2k pi equals the log of 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 and so therefore z equals i log 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 minus 2k pi i or if we want to put it a better way plus uh, 2k pi just by multiplying um and so in actual fact the complete solution even though the solution to cos of z equals 3 is z equals minus log uh, 3 plus or minus 2 root 2, um, the complete solution is z equals minus log 3 plus or minus 2 root 2 plus 2k pi, which gives you your infinite number of solutions where k is an integer.